Good morning and happy new week. So good to see you this morning. So we're going to do a couple more days through Jonah and then we'll see what the Lord has for us, okay? All right. So by the start of chapter three, God has told Jonah twice to get up and go. If you've ever had to get a teenager up, you know it takes more than once. Mumbles, groans, and pulling the covers back over their head are all involved in the brave pursuit of a parent to get them up. And well, we as parents know that if we feel sorry for them and just sleep in, you know, go ahead and skip a day, they'll never be fully prepared for adulting. And also it keeps their presence and any opportunity they may get to encounter stuck in the belly of immaturity. And much like God with Jonah, he knew if he felt sorry for Jonah, and being covered in fish guts and all, if he just let him, you know, sit this one assignment out. And well, I gotta say, I understand why Jonah had the withdrawal, because the Ninevites were a mean people. They skinned their enemies. And well, selfishly, I really like my skin, so I would probably want to run and hide too. Sorry, God, I think this assignment's for someone else. But if not for God's second chance, a whole nation would have gone saved. And, and we, as people reading the Bible, would miss out on the opportunity to see God move through a stubborn, rebellious, yet still a believing prophet. Sound familiar? I've had to go back more than twice to get a teenager out of bed. I'm thankful God is more than a God of second chances. He is the God of another chance. So here's another chance to have a great week. Go rock it. Bye.